When I was 22 years old, I had everything going for me. I was living in Manhattan, had a great job and wonderful friends. But something was wrong inside my mind. One spring afternoon, I collapsed on my kitchen floor and stayed there for nearly two days. I managed to call my mom, who rushed to Manhattan from central Ohio, picked me up and took me home. I was diagnosed with major clinical depression and thought I had no hope of ever feeling better. When I was a child, I often found deep solace in the family dog. So my mom and I drove to a little white farmhouse in rural Ohio, and there he was. This red golden retriever puppy walked up to me, sat down, and I swear it was as if he said, there you are, let's go, I'll help you. I named him Bunker. I was terrified. I had no job, no apartment, no plan, but every time I pet this dog, I felt as if maybe things could turn out okay. A few days after adopting him, I began to feel depressed again. I sat on the couch that day and thought, I'm never going to feel better. Depression is always going to haunt me until it kills me. Bunker walked up to me, sat on my feet, leaned against my shins, and looked up at me as if to say, You better now? That was the first day I thought I might survive, thanks to dog medicine. Not long after, I moved to Seattle, where I learned that my beautiful bunker was broken as well, and it was up to me to save him. This is the story of an animal healing a woman, and a woman, in turn, finding the strength to heal an animal. It's the story of how a dog can take the focus away from how awful we feel or how bad we think we are. A dog has no tortured consciousness, no self-destructive thoughts. He just wants you to go outside, sit under a tree, take a walk. That's dog medicine, and it saved my life.